kind of Swedish and uh, I kind of hate it actually, it's too cold. <laughs> but I like the cold, but not this cold. <laughs> this is a bit too cold. So if you, you want to hear the intro, I can show you the intro. It sounds like... This is the intro now. You are too fast. I'm sorry, uh, this one goes comes in too quick. This one too, this one should be... I don't think you're gonna go with that one there. Yeah, I'm using a short 50 shots beat repeat on the jungle beats. A small reduction with 5 auto filter on 250 killing everything under 250 and a that one is not maybe necessary we can use the compressor instead as you see I'm not done with it I'm far from done I'm far from complete with track uh, this is just and showing you guys a small hint on what it is. I still have not managed to do all the small details with the, um, uh, the, with the compressions and things like that. And why the water limiter there was just to, you know, not peaking. And when I'm done with it, there's not going to be any limiters and stuff, so it's going to be compression and other things on it instead. Uh, we can actually do that now. What I like to do when I do compression, I would take a regular compression on it. Uh, I will put down the threshold a small bit. A small bit of threshold. I will give it a... Because it's drums. Because now it's drums, I'm giving it a quick attack. A little bit harder to release, and longer actually. I'm giving it some, some more ratio. Giving it a bit more knee. You can actually put down the threshold a bit more. But I found the threshold do, I can I might be wrong, but I find that the threshold is actually peaking down. It's taking out the peaks. Uh, so if I put it uh, killing some of the compression with it and uh, taking it down, I can actually make a fairly good compression uh, and still keep the same smoothness in it. As I would do with a peak limiter. Uh, I like the peak pressure in the peak limiters more than a regular limiter because in the peak pressure and the, uh, from Carehouse actually they are in um, it's a free now they're free you, they're legally free uh, you can buy it if you want to but they are legally free because uh, the products are because the whole company went to hell in the economy crash so they are not they are not more so everything is now legally you can buy it you can get it for free you can just download it and torrent and nobody can say anything uh, some kind of kind of sometimes it's good to follow the stuff that i think is sad because i really like them they're making really good product, pr uh, products really good vsts and soft synth 
Uh, they made one called Spectra that is awesome actually. Uh, I haven't found a way to use it. Uh, I haven't learned it actually. I have it but I haven't learned it. I am gonna learn it sometime. Uh, I'm using now, I'm using uh, a free software synth from uh, uh, CM Studio. It's a demo on actually it's a CM Studio. Uh, no, not on this track. Uh, this track I'm using a free version that I found from Native Instruments called Massive. I have actually learned and make it done. I haven't have got the time to buy it yet, and I'm using a yeah free soft sense almost exclusively. Uh, I have a, a karma that I got from a friend. He gave it to me. Uh, I don't know if he buy it, bought it or not. Uh, I he got he gave me the C, he gave me the installation. Uh, patch and just told me to use it and it works fine and uh, the same thing with uh, massive uh, he gave me the demo and gave me a uh, patch so that I can register it uh, in actually in his name <coughs> so uh, it's uh, credited to my dear friend that gave me this and uh, yeah I don't know more to say. Uh, I'm using actually. I'm, I can tell you more more bit about how I do the production. I'm in this track. I'm using uh, as I did with the track Jungle, uh, using Jungle Beats uh, to get um, you know re uh, eight bit style Jungle Beats. I actually managed to get or actually it's five bit down sampled. So I'm trying to make it more, yeah, gritty and grungy. Um, I'm using my own kick. Uh, using my own bass that I have uh, uh, tweaked and done myself. Uh, I'm using uh, patches of hats and snares for, uh, yeah. Uh, all things I'm doing is now less more only solely MIDI and then afterwards I make audio of it and then I can use it in my live sets and this one is kind of uh, this track is gonna be around eight minutes uh, or less actually it's gonna be something about uh, Right. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be or something around eight minutes, seven fifty-five, eight minutes, as it is of now. It might be longer afterwards. It might be shorter even. I don't know yet. I don't know if tempo is right. Even if I change the tempo, you're gonna change the line of um, length of time. If I stick with this arrangement. I think it's kind of nice. I'm gonna do some finishing small touches, maybe do some uh, uh, changes, take away some things, uh, maybe make it more, uh, make one synth duck away from the other, and uh, maybe something like that. And, uh, and that I do with the compression, sidechain compression, I can make the synth line of uh, the squealy synth line duck away from the massive synth line. Because the massive synth line is actually less notes in it, so every time that sounds, the other one is gonna duck away, you know, like dip away and then come back up. Uh, I have done that technique on something I yeah, what I call this um, uh, dub core. It's uh, dubstep slash hardcore in 160 BPM, uh, really grungy, really distorted evil kind of dub thing uh, and then I actually the bass deck away from the kick and the synth line deck away from the bass so every time the kick sounded the synth sounded and every time the bass came in the synth was dead it was actually kind of <coughs> made 
a really s strange noise. And if I do the same thing with this one, it's gonna be kind of fucked up instead. So that's why I can make it so that one of the synths is actually ducking away from the other. And uh, with that technique, I make, can, might get some new things to happen, some new movements. Uh, and also that both synths are not playing at the same time. Make more groovy. Yeah, I don't know um, more to say. I have to sign off and I'm uh, gonna go out and take a cigarette. Maybe I talk some more when I'm outside and taking a cigarette. But for now, uh, live free, die hard. <laughs> Actually, a really good movie. Uh, uh, just have fun producing. Do what you like to do. I'm tired too, so that's why I look like I'm. Uh, I don't know more to say. Uh, just have fun producing, and you're gonna see more fun videos and more fun stuff from me. Uh, yeah, take care. Bye bye. And there we go.